finally coming home. An Arizona man who was killed in the attacks at Pearl Harbor is coming back home to the valley. Team 12's Jen Wall shows us what they plan to do next after waiting decades for his return. Even though Carl Johnson's body would go nearly 80 years lost and unidentified after the attacks on Pearl Harbor. It was such a devastating loss that they, that they had to sustain. His family always believed there'd be a reunion. As I read through my grandfather's journal, there was always a hope that, uh, that his remains, his body would be found and that he could be brought home. Hope lifting from the pages of Carl Johnson's father's journal, writing from that day that will live in infamy. They kept the radio on all day and night, hoping for news, but no news came. And that went on for, for years because I remember my, my grandfather and, and talked about uh, Carl on occasion because I was his namesake. And then surprisingly, finally, in August, there were answers about the late seaman, first class, Carl Johnson. That he was identified and that we could bring him back to Phoenix. Dr. Carl Dahl says his uncle was just 18 years old when he was killed in a blast on the USS West Virginia at Pearl Harbor. Using mitochondrial DNA and dental records after almost eight decades, they matched his remains. Johnson's parents and siblings would never know of plans for his return to Phoenix. But Dr. Dahl says the family that's left is making a proper burial next month with full military honors. Brings closure and to be able to bring him back home and to be uh, interred with his parents, which was always a, um, a great hope. Jen Wall, 12 News.